Yo, what's up today? We're going to be testing out the Malamara Dawnwing or Cosma DX that, that made the finals in the Philadelphia Championship. And we'll be testing it out. Well, it had a Marshadow in it. And it had a whole bunch of other stuff that helped it out, especially in Malamara with a second recharge ability, which is pretty cool stuff. Now, this is my first time ever using any psychic at any Malamar deck, so it's gonna be my first look at it. I don't know how it will go, but let's test it out. See what made it so good to get um, second place or first place. Not really sure which one. I did not watch the finals because it's like the same deck based off against each other, so I'm like, hmm. Looks like we mulligan first, so that's fine. Does run a consistency of stuff. Just like I, um, I took out one mysterious treasure to put in a field blower because I, I, I know that every day I can use at least a field blower just in case. And this deck has a lot of resources to discard and stuff like that. I don't know if we want, I think we want this Necrozma first. And then we can use invasion to actually cheat. I'm not sure why you didn't you all the moon here. Looks like we're facing auto kuno as well, so I think we need we're going to use acrobat. I did try to make the deck work myself, but it didn't really work out that way. We can toss the psychic energy in the discard because that's what we want to do. I'm going to echo back again and see what we can get. See what is that? Ultra Ball, which is pretty nice. We can get an NK down. And it's pretty sweet. And we're going to echo back one more time. And we got a Malmore with all these psychos are going into the discard, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use Mysterious Treasure to. Get rid of that escape board. That's fine. Gonna get ourselves an NK. And I think we'll just pass from here. We're gonna ultra ball the. I don't know if we should ultra ball the dominant in the course mode. I'll just put it down for the next turn. We cheat. I mean, if we get like a skateboard, then we will put on uh, a Krosma, another one. I don't want to just toss it out. So we have three psychics in the discard pile, NK on board, or which we would have two NKs instead of like. One, you know, would have been a little bit better. Looks like he's using Cynthia to actually draw some cards in his hand. Oh, using Brooklyn Hill to get a Volpix. Kinda is not really good for him that he has a. That he has a Articuno. He probably want that later on. So you're gonna Ultra Ball. For a Tapu Lele to use Cynthia. I think that'd be the plan here. And not get stuck. And we do have Marshadow just in case. Um, we're facing out to get a fighting deck, I would say. So we want to use Tapu Lele and go for a Cynthia here. I think that sounds pretty good. And we can use Malamar's second recharge if we indeed want to, which I think um I think we're gonna do an invasion. Second recharge in the bottom. And hopefully looking for like a psychic type um, energy. 
There's a rescue searcher. We can actually get back to Malamar. But other than that, we have nothing else. So we're going to we'll blow off the Brooklyn Hill. And other than that, we're just going to pass for real. We have Guzma to use to make a burst. But he had to discard all energies. I don't think that's pretty good. He has his own Guzma. Like, ooh, we can actually. Uh, that's going to be a problem. But we can actually invade and use Guzma. So you see BT going down. Alright, that's fine. We can invade, use second weak charge, and then use Guzma. And I will have the deck list um, like after the video, a little while after the video. I'll put it in the description down below for you guys. Um, second recharge. We do actually want another NK down. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, there's a rescue sister that Malamar back in the deck. And then Guzma, we can Lily for next turn. And right now we're just gonna use that. And we're gonna take a knock out here. Doing 250, we can get those psychic energies back. So we get psychic and we get a Marshadow, which we will be using. And that'd be pretty sweet. We can invade, we can attach a psychic, and we can use psychic recharge if we really want to. Maybe he's gonna use ice blade on the Madmore or something. I'm not sure what though. Either we do or are gonna see an ice blade or we'll go. Yeah, it goes on the Matamar. Just trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible. That would make sense. And we do get another NK, which is pretty sweet. What we're gonna do here is gonna invade. We have lots of goose mode to go after. Um, so we're gonna psychic recharge. I think this Malamar will easily go down for next turn. And we're going to actually Lily dead Marshadow. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, nice. We do have another NK down. Uh, yeah, I think that works. Because this Malamar is going to go, and so we're going to use some Marshadow after it does. And then we can um, evolve NK to Malamar and then try to do that. Oh, he does get the choice band as well. And a Cynthia to boot. So he knocks outside. We, we should be able to knock it out. If we find the right cards, like in Skateboard or something like that. You just have four skateboards in the deck, so that's pretty neat. Alright, so he's doing a grand total of 210 damage. Good thing we actually put up the Darwin for Cosmo instead. I mean, if we retreat, we can just um, use Psychic Recharge. Looks like he's using Blizzard Edge though. 
So that's pretty good. All we need to find is a, a skateboard. I think this would be good. We don't have one yet. Even if he does bring out the Illuminous Barrier Nine Tail, we can actually use Deoxys to try to take it out. So we have Malamar here. Psychic Recharge again. I think we should use Friend Ball and fail it. All we really need is a Psychic Energy and an Escape Board. So we have the Escape Board, which is pretty sweet. All right. Use Echo Bike. Cynthia and a Deoxys. I think we take the Deoxys just in case. And then we use more Shadow to draw more cards. See if we can get his Psychic Energy. Oof. And we whiff. Now he does not have a water energy, he might not, so we're going to pass there. I mean, I don't really mind him taking a knockout on this Malamar. So we see another Vulpix coming down. That's fine. I mean, it's going to be an awkward prize card for him. If he does try to knock that out, he's going to have to take three more. So he's going to use a switch. Interesting. Aqua Pass. Does he have Guzma in here? He's a blizzard edge. He's going for a goose now. Oh, he's, he's just chipping away. Yeah, I see. He's gonna knock it out, just chipping away. That's fine. So, what we need here is we need a. Uh, We need a skateboard and a psychic. Hmm. So we're gonna use Cynthia here. I mean, if he knocks out his map, we can try to knock it out. And we got the skateboard again, but we don't have any psychic. I try to like get as much card out in the hand as possible. Yeah, I think they're just gonna pass. Try to get a psychic for next turn. I don't think we need a psychic recharge. I think they're just gonna pass here. What we need is a uh, psychic energy, and that'd be good. We can take a knockout next turn if we do. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god! Get rid of the skateboard. Oh, that's pretty annoying. An energy and use ice blade. So we need to find another skateboard and an energy to boot.
Oh, don't ask the bench. Alright, we don't need another ink here, but I think I'm gonna put it down anyway. So we can like get rid of it in our hand. And then draw for six. Hey, there's the skateboard. And there's the sidekick. So we are gonna take a knockout here. Just in case I'm going to I'm going to burst the bench of Krozma. Psychic recharge again, just in case. Just in case our math is off because math is bad. So we're going to retreat. We have Guzma. If we want to use Guzma for next turn. And we're going to take a knockout on this Lonely Night Tales so UX. Give him a grand total of 370 damage. So we have the psychic energy that we can use on Dinkay, we can psychic recharge our Necrozma GX. And it looks like we see a beacon, which is fantastic for us. And I think we're going to do one more game after this. And this one was a pretty long game. He gets a uh, Celeste card. And we don't know what he got. It looks like he got maybe the Luminous Barrier. I'm not sure. So what we're going to do here is use Malamar. We're going to use Guzma. Psychic recharge. Psychic recharge again. Rescue stretcher to get our other Malamar back. I can see why this deck is so powerful because it's like as long as you can get your energies back as quickly as possible in a way to retreat and to keep attacking, you pretty much has uh, the deck is pretty much good to go for the next stage, like day two and stuff. As long as you take it consistent, getting your psychic energies back. Fragment of Burst, knocking this thing out. Even with three energy, just doing like 190 damage is pretty insane. And we have another Psychic and a Guzma. That's pretty much game. He has no, um, he has nothing to boot. Uh, nah. It's fine. We can just Guzma the Lone Revolt picks. Into a Malamar, attack to recharge three times, retreat, and that should be good to go. I mean, as long as he doesn't find a field lore, he should be actually good to go. No, this goes to field blow. We can actually goose him out the lone Volbrix into the top of Lele and then retreat. That's actually a smart play. Now, top of Lele can actually be a uh, free cheater. I was always thinking like Mad more for some reason. I don't really know why I didn't go for the top of Lele. But I just think of a cool play with the skateboard and stuff. But we actually have a game here with Guzma. The vulnerable picks. The top of Lele. Put that energy psychic recharge three times. As you can see why this deck is very powerful. Psychic Recharge, it only stays with one. What a sec. Gonna say well play to my opponent. And we are going to get the win here.
<laughs> I just want to be go. I wish I just want to be go with that type of cure. But that's going to be the game. That's how pretty much I think how this deck runs. Pretty unique deck right there. We're going to be going against one more. One more match with this. Because that one was pretty long. So I think one more. It's the other one's pretty quick. Then we go against another one. But we do like one or two more. I like doing three just because it's like. How it would do in like the tournaments and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how long this one goes. If it goes pretty long, then that'd be it for the video. If it goes short, then we do one more. So it looks like we're facing uh, Gamaru 1919. And yes, I would like to go first. See if we can get the good setup we got last game. I mean, last game was kind of iffy, but the setup. And we have a pretty good setup. We got Dom and Kozma in the front. Not the one you want. That's fine. You want kind of want him on the bench. I feel like this format is way much slower than it is. Ooh, we have Shiny Lugia in the front as well, which is pretty sweet. I am going to Ultra Ball away. I mean, let me see this treasure away. This friend ball here, because I know for a fact he does not want any NKs in the stack. We're going to put down NK. Going to Mysterious Treasure again. That's fine. Gonna get another NK. And we're gonna Lily you for six. Do you have a Deoxys as well? Gonna skateboard. Put an energy. You have a goose one for next turn too. Um, let's aqua back here, and we can also ball for another. Yeah, Malamar definitely want that Malamar. Another NK. Gonna get rid of this Deoxys and Psychic. Get myself another NK, and we have three NKs on the bench, which is pretty pretty nice. We can retreat with Dom with Nikosma and then Guzma, whatever's in the active. So that's a pretty good start at having three NKs down. And then we can second recharge. So you see an Ultra Ball. That's fine. Tapu Lele. Probably gonna see Cynthia here. Maybe. I kinda do want Ultra Ball for Cynthia. Let's have another Malamore. Maybe we can get our NKs that way, our Malamore that way. See, so turn one Lele, Dawn, until he has five cards in hand. DCE. So this is basically a spread deck with Lugia, heads, heads, double heads. It's a Lycanroc DX. For right, next turn, that's pretty fine and a pass to us. Do you have a Malamar and an escape board, which is pretty sweet. Are going to ultra ball those two away though? Here you go, we get Tapu Lele, then we're going to use Cynthia. That's fine. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a long game, so this might be it. So we have Cynthia here. Gonna use it trying to get two more Malamars on the bench. So we got one.
I'm gonna get that guy out. I'm gonna use Acrobite here. So we have Cynthia and Lily. I'm gonna take the Cynthia instead. We already have Lily. That's fine. And um, let's actually. Hmm. So with blue gears, you're gonna spend 30 everywhere, and he has top of lady on the bench as well. 60, 120, he has 130. I think for now, just gonna psychic recharge on the. Uh, 10. Oh, that's enough because he has 10 plus. But we only have one in this card. I think that's gonna be it. It's gonna pass. He's gonna do 30 everywhere. The only thing um that we need to worry about is the tapu lady on the bench, which I want to get rid of as quickly as possible. Looks like you're gonna need Cynthia here. And we do have more shadow just in case we want to knock out the Zara GX for an easier prize. Prize card. Choice band doing 130, 140, 160, 150 damage. And we have a uh, acrobat here. Gonna definitely take another Malamar. Alright, so we have three Malamars. All we really need now. Get that choice band out of here. Do that is a couple of psychics and discards, some acrobats. Oh, that's perfect. So, we're actually gonna also ball these two psychics. That's done. The psychic recharge for one. I can recharge for two. The only thing is we have no heal in this deck. And we're gonna pragmatic burst for the knockout. That's the only issue. Taking the pride card that is Fantastic. Pretty pretty nice stuff. So we get an escape board. Pretty good. Gets out is it alright? So you're gonna trade for one. We could try to go for the moon eclipse GX. For next turn, you can use the attack only if you have more cards than the opponent's effects of attack and create damage on the Pokemon. So, we use Mooncliff to eat DX attack for next turn. We have another escape for us, so that's fine. And he's gonna rise his beating. So we're gonna use a skateboard, we're gonna use psychic recharge. Ooh. Hmm. We could go for a Tally Cure DX for next turn as well. This is pretty sick. We can just use more go for a Tally Cure.
That's fine. We're gonna do dark flash for 120. Oh, we got it less. Makes perfect sense. It's interesting because all the Ultra Beast has like the, these pride cards. GX attack. This is pretty interesting. Either you take a pride card or you actually need to have less pride card or you take more and then you can use it. So what I'm thinking here is just to go for a type of card DX so he won't use it as a type of Lele. Just to move around damage counters. So you go for a red speed and that's fine. Oh yeah, and we're weak to dark, huh? That's interesting. We can actually use the anything on Dangerous Road, which I don't like. Hmm. I kind of just want to use. How do we go here? Use a mysterious charger to get rid of the psychic. That's fine. We can actually use Mimikyu, use Copycat. Since it is a one prizer. The opponent's Pokemon used an attack that isn't a DS attack, was it wasn't. So it's actually Psychic Recharge, we can always heal up later on if you absolutely need to. To retreat, use uh, rice is beating. Well, already a knockout is pretty crazy. You think about it. Taking two prize card with this and Mimikyu. Mimikyu doing a thing. Got the cannon out there. So, next turn we can set recharge and then you top the cure. I think that'd be the play. Oh, using a Guzma. I mean, we can. So we can actually use Mimikyu to retreat next turn and knock this thing out. But with which one again? With the yeah, with the the Cosmo GX. So let's put Mimikyu up there, and he has no way of getting anything up there anyway. Uh, we have Rescue Stretcher, that's fine. I mean, he needs two energies to actually use the GS attack. So we're gonna stack it recharge once. And we have Goofle for next turn to actually take a knockout on the top of Lele if we ever want to. Do it again. Do it one more time, retreat. Put in a psychic. And we're taking a sweet prize. And then we can use one of the top of Lily for game. I don't think he has any way of coming back. 
unless he has a judge. Unless he actually judges us or something. We can just use him on the tree and use like a recharge again. Unless he goes more knocks it out. But we see here a lichen rock, so that's fine. Ooh, this one's on the top of Lele, okay. Put the energy and that's why I don't put top of Lele in most of my deck. What we've seen. I've seen this deck do its glory of how it does in the tournament. And we see a pass. Alright, pass. Okay, that's a unit energy, not counter energy, yeah, unit. And yeah, that's gonna be game. So we're gonna do psychic recharge on the. Uh, Darling. Yeah. He knows we have Guzma. That's gonna be game. Hopefully, you guys did like the uh, Madamar Nokrozma GX toolbox deck. Pretty, pretty sweet stuff. Did see a lot of potential in that deck. The reason why it made top the finals and the uh, reason why it made finals and the Philadelphia Regional Championship. So, if you guys did like today's deck, I will put the deck. And I will put the deck profile in the description later on today. So hopefully you guys don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe for more TTG deck profiles and matches. Like I said, the deck profile will be in the description. Unless you guys want me to go over the deck. Uh, if you guys like to my more, comment down below. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys did like and enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you have a good day and peace.